Since 2017, there are certain things that have been happening that I've been quiet about. Even if you are the most careless person on earth, you will not give yourself to so much scandals. There are things people don't know. Even though one or two people along the line took advantage of that to just come out and say one or two things. But the reason I'm coming out to speak now is because they've done all that and discovered that I'm still moving on. They decided to make attempts on my life. I just escaped an assassination attempt where seven people were killed. My car was attacked, opened fire on my car and kept spraying it with bullets. My wife and my kids were there. The escort car with some police, they killed the policeman, they killed the other people, the other escort car, the buses with us. Seven people, we are all moving the convoy, we are killed. People who did this are expecting me to come out, mention their names, so they will come out and deny. I won't do that. But the truth of the matter is this, you can't kill me. My life is in the hand of God, I'm a man of God. And those who are among those attacking me, you are building on what you don't understand. You may have joined into the fora because you want to chase clouds, but you don't know where the fight started from. There are things you don't understand. You don't have an idea of the beginning of what happened 2017. The people who are behind it. You may come and you are doing your own thing, but it's beyond what you are thinking. I'm alive for those who have been calling and all that. I'm well. Family is fine. I feel bad for the lives that have been taken. We are mourning, but Jesus is Lord. And for all those who they killed, may they also rest in peace. And for the young men who opened fire and kept wasting people, I won't take your life. But the seed that you sow, you will reap it. I want Nigerians to know that a coordinated lie swallows an uncoordinated truth. With time, the truth will come out.